G'day, Steve Gurney here, Beginner's Guide to Adventure Sport. We're talking chapter four here, orienteering and navigation. So I've got to a point where there's three different tracks. I'm not quite sure which direction I need to go because I can't see my destination. It could also be that it's dark or there's fog, that sort of thing, and I need to take a bearing. So following on from the previous video where we talked about magnetic declination and what is it and how do you, uh, how do you modify your map for that, here I am going to take a bearing. So come on and I'll show you how. So first of all, I need to point out that the compass needs to be kept nice and flat. But then on an angle like this, the needle won't work, so it needs to be flat. So I'm going to put my map down on a flat position, and then I look at where I am and where I want to go. So I know I'm there at the edge of the cliff, and I know that's the radio mast I want to go to, so I line up, line up the edge of my compass from where I am, which is there, and to where I want to go, and there it is. So all I need to do now is line up the bezel, those orienting lines on the bezel, with these magnetic lines that we drew on the map. So I just do that by rotating, and there they are. Just check that it's all in line still, yes there it is. And there it is, there's my bearing I need to follow. And if I want to read it off, I can see that it's 26 degrees. Read your bearing here, remember that? It says read your bearing there. Now that arrow there, the blue one, up here is where we want to go. That's the direction of travel arrow. So all I need to do is keep we call that the shed, the red arrow on the orienting uh, bezel. We need to keep that in line with the arrow and we call that keeping red in the shed. And then off we go. There's the track I need to follow. I'm off. Ah, but there's one thing I need to tell you. If I just run like this, looking at my compass, there's a good chance I'll make an error. I'm not looking where I'm going well enough. So the best thing to do is to line that up and then look at the direction of travel arrow and find something that's in the distance that lines up with that. So in this case, there's a dead tree way in the distance. So all I need to do then is say, right, I just go to the dead tree and I know it's in line with where I want to go. I don't even need to look at my compass till I get there. So off I go, I can sprint off. Then when I get to the dead tree, then I can do that again and say, right, I find something else in the way in the distance that I know I can just sprint to and I don't know to look at my compass till I get there again. So it's much quicker and much more accurate. Another way of doing it is you can, um, if you're in a team and you've got other teammates, you can send them ahead. You see, send them perhaps 20 or 30 meters ahead uh, and tell them, okay, you need to go left a bit, right a bit. And so once they're going in a straight line, you know that they're accurately in the right direction. You can, you can guide them. And that's a very accurate way of doing it as well. What happens if you haven't drawn those magnetic declination lines in? This can sometimes happen if you're like in a Rogani event and they've given you a map with grid north and then off you go. You have to make an adjustment, so I'll show you how. It's not that hard actually. So here's a map that doesn't have declination lines in it. So as before, I'm going to line the edge of my compass, the base plate, with where I am and to where I want to go. But this time, I'm going to use the orienting lines. I'm going to rotate, lo rotate them until they're lined up with the grid north lines, because there's no magnetic declination lines. So here we go. And there they are. Then I'll read off my bearing, and it says 49 degrees. So I know that magnetic is 23 degrees to the east of grid north. So I have to rotate my bezel to the east by 23 degrees. Or put another way, subtract 23 degrees from this bearing here. So there I go. And hey presto, it's 26 degrees. Line up the base plate with the magnetic. And look, there it is. It'll be the same one as before. Same track, I can go to the same tree. Catch you later.